truly mean for her. He also loved the saint. She was his confidant and was always kind and considerate and patient with him. Whenever the king faced a problem, he would confide in her. And she would help him get through the difficult time. The king's first wife was very loyal and had made great contributions in maintaining his health well and his people. Amen. However, he did not love his first wife. Although she loved him, he hardly took notice of her. One day, he no. came to her, and he knew his time was short. He thought of his luxurious wife and wanted I now have four wives with me, but when I die, I'll be all alone. Thus he asked his forefather, I have loved you the most, and endowed you with the finest clothing and showered great, great care over you. Now that I'm dying, will you follow me and keep me coming? She said, no way. <laughs> she walked away with me, follow her. Her answer cut like a sharp knife by the two sides. The sad king then asked his third wife, I have loved you all my life. Now that I'm dying, will you follow me and keep me coming? No, said the third wife. Life is too good. When you die, I'm going to be mad. His heart sank and turned cold. And he then asked the second wife, I have always taught you the hope. You've always been with me. When I die, will you follow me and keep me coming? She said, I'm sorry. I can't help you out this time. At the very most, I can only walk with you to the grave. My answer struck him like a white, like a white man, and the king was devastated. Then a voice cried, "I'll go with you. I'll follow you no matter where you go." The king looked up, and there was his first wife. She was very skinny, as he suffered from malnutrition and neglect. Greatly grieved, the king said. I should, I should have taken much better care of you than I did. The truth, in the truth, we all have four wives in our lives. Our fourth wife is our body. No matter how much time and effort we got us in making it look good, it will leave us when we die. Mm -hmm. Our third wife is our possession. Status and wealth. When we die, it will all go to us. Mm -hmm. Our second wife is our family and friends. No matter how much they have been there for us, the promise they can stay with us is up to the grave. And our first wife is our soul. Mm -hmm. It is often neglected in pursuit of our wealth. However, our soul is the only thing that will follow us wherever we go. Cultivate, strengthen, and cherish it now. For it is the only part of us that will follow us to the throne of God and continue with us throughout eternity. The title of my sermon is, If This Is My Last Soul, And it will stand on its own, whether we believe it or not. Amen. 